everyone, Dr. Sindhu. I'm a specialist obstetrics and gynecology working in Astor Specialty Clinic, Discovery Gardens. Today, I'm going to brief you about cervical cancer. So January being the cervical cancer awareness month, I want you to know about the signs and symptoms, what are the screening modalities and the vaccination options available for cervical cancer. So why cervical cancer is uh, you know very important to prevent because it is the fourth most common cancer affecting the women and 99% of cervical cancer is caused by human papilloma virus that being a viral infection it gives us more room to act with you know as a form of uh, vaccination as a preventive strategy so i'll just tell you about the signs and symptoms so when it comes to signs and symptoms in the early stages always uh, cervical cancer will be asymptomatic for you to develop symptoms for uh, cervical cancer you should be in the advanced stages of the disease most women will have foul smelling vaginal discharge with irregular bleeding intermenstrual bleeding and having bleeding after having intercourse these are the few symptoms to point out in the later stages of the disease so when it comes to the screening of uh, cervical cancer every woman from the age of 21 years till they reach 65 years of age they should undergo a screening test called pap smear once in every three years okay right from 21 years of age or from the time you start your sexual activity okay that's about the screening part and second thing is the vaccination there is a vaccination available against uh, cervical uh, cancer because 99 percent of the times it is caused by a virus called human papilloma virus which is transmitted through sexual activity so the vaccination can be given as early as 11 and 12 years of age group and we can start much early like 9 years and we can go up to 45 years of age also. So anybody who takes vaccination, there are many options available in the market. You should remember one thing, whether you are vaccinated or not vaccinated, having a screening program from the 21 years of age is very very important irrespective of whether you are vaccinated or not. I guess uh, that's all about uh, the cervical cancer and its preventive strategies. I hope it's helpful. Thank you.